I want you to close your eyes and imagine eating with someone who tells you they have a dietary restriction. Depending on the nature of that restriction and how the person deals with it, it could be kind of annoying. For example, someone tells you, I eat gluten free, I, I'm on some dietary fad like the keto diet, or I'm vegan for moral issues. Uh, it, it can get kind of annoying to eat with that person, especially if they're demanding that the whole group caters to their needs. It can become quite a, quite a downer, especially when everyone's dead set on going to experience or try some new restaurant, and that person kind of has a sour attitude because the restaurant does not cater to them. Realistically, most menus can be accommodated, and most places will have items on the menu or can put together from various different dishes a pretty enjoyable meal. However, on a different hand, dietary restrictions due to allergy is a whole different matter because a person can have negative health responses. And depending on how bad their responses, it can be something ranging from mild discomfort to anaphylactic shock, which potentially can lead to death. Now, in those situations, dietary restrictions are now all of a sudden a lot more, a lot more important to observe. And most restaurants in first world Western countries can accommodate dietary restrictions very well. In fact, sometimes, usually they ask you, are there any dietary restrictions? And they, they ultimately, at the end of the day, want to make sure you have a pleasant experience and not die at the restaurant. However, this uh, may be a little different in a third world country, especially if eating at a street food vendor. Telling them, hey, I have a dietary restriction. Well, they're not cooking with a whole lot of different equipment there. So your chance of cross-contamination is pretty much 100%. It's, you're getting cross-contaminated. So there's no such thing as dietary restrictions. And even sometimes watching how they handle the food, uh, what is health safety standards? What is that? It, it, I, I never heard of it in that case. And watching them handle the food sometimes is pretty, pretty interesting. Got to have a pretty iron stomach to stomach it all. But that being said, I have to admit though, when you go to a place like a street hawker, like an area where there's a bunch of street hawkers operating together, or like a food court of that nature, it's wonderful because the group can go and eat together and not have to order off the same menu. Everybody can literally go and order from any of the hawkers or any of the stands that are there. All right. Why do you need to order from the same place? Everybody should just go and get whatever they like. So I sometimes I see groups of people and they're like, oh, well, we all have to order. No, you don't have to order anything. That's why there's a bunch of restaurants there at the same time. Everybody go order whatever you want, meet together at the table and eat together. S simple. Enough said. Well, anyway, if you like hearing my stories, please like and subscribe and come back next week for a new episode. I hope you have a great day and thank you for listening.